Hello and welcome. I am Jess Countenance with Guided by Aqua. And I'm here with your Horse Wisdom Energy Forecast for the week of July 8th. Uh, just feeling into the energy. I have Fancy behind me there too, um, and that was Sir. And just to shift perspectives, I guess, actually feels like part of this week. Um, as soon as I started the video and then Surf moved off to a new space. Um, but what I'm feeling is kind of like, it almost related to um, our lungs is what it feels like. And just um, the words finding the capacity. So like breathing in new life to something um, and that breathing in new life to something almost um, could feel like we're um, going backwards to bring it forward if that makes sense and so um, even for myself the last few days um, I've just been reviving a lot of spaces that I used to do with the horses um, in a kind of a new way and so it's like giving um, giving new life to it or giving um, giving a deeper breath I guess a different no, not a different but a, a deeper way to connect to it um, and words are kind of escaping me because it feels more like it's a really intuitive place that we're connecting to with um, with our our body and that our body is informing um, how we do this in a new way. I'm just going to shift spaces here. Um, and just having to take a deep breath on that. It's like the, it's grounding that and moving it. And it's almost like as we connect to our body, um, it helps give um, a new meaning to this. And maybe new meaning isn't even the right word. Um, but that it um, but that it gives it just a new intake um, or new information on something that has been part of your world for maybe a long time but is in almost a revival phase and if I kind of turn and shift Fancy and Surf have moved almost a full circle around me um, and they're the only two that I currently have here on the farm. Everybody else has kind of moved into different spaces and pastures. Um, and yet these two have been in my life for quite some time. And it's always, um, it's always a relationship that I want to really deepen. But then I move into a different space with another horse or something else happens. And so this week actually feels very practical in the way that I'm coming back to find um, the two of them and what they want to teach me and show me and um, and just create space for the relationship with them. And actually, just before I started this video, um, I started running my hands over Fancy and was able to run my hands almost over her entire body, which would be the first time that that's ever happened in my relationship with her. Um, and it was almost like she's been inviting me to step into that because she would keep coming up over the last couple of weeks and following me and I could just feel that that, um, that protectiveness had kind of dissolved. Um, but me having been um, told by her to not, not engage with her unless she, was, she had invited me um, in the past, in my mind, I'm conscious of not um, not crossing a boundary that doesn't want to be crossed, and yet it's almost like her invitation to to enter into a new relationship. Like that relationship, that protectiveness doesn't even exist anymore. Um, and with Surf, kind of the same thing. From a very reactive to a very um, responsive horse, he has, and I'm just trying to shift to keep them in the picture, but now they're kind of up along that fence, which is where we ended, where we started in the first place. 
Um, and so it's kind of going back. And with the eclipses, I know that if we go backwards in time, this similar eclipse from last week and the, um, the one coming up on July 16th has happened in the same signs in the past. Um, and so it's like we're kind of being invited. And actually, if I remember correctly, I think I read somewhere that this one um, was in either 2009 or 2011. Um, and, and so it's like a resurgence of something that we're being reinvited into in a different way. And so with all of that, just taking a deep breath and giving it new life, um, whatever that is for you. And I'm excited to... Actually, if I go back to last week, I can't even remember what the video was on, but I do remember that the horses had all kind of moved out of the space. And yet it gave me space to be able to take um, the new bay mare, Mahari, to um, do a, a Morgan demo with her at the Calgary Stampede, and she just shone. Um, and she really was the only one, she was the one that kind of rose to the occasion and gave me an opportunity to see um, something that I maybe hadn't seen before with her. And so it, I think it was just creating that space for what needed to happen to kind of rise to the occasion. And so with this week, it's almost like just relaxing and taking a deep breath and um, taking into account where you are with everything in your life um, so that what wants to show you where your next step is um, can come in for you. So much love to all of you guys and I look forward to checking back in next week and seeing where things are at um, with the horse wisdom and with where this is all going and taking us. So much love from myself and the Guided by Equus Herd.